Yo, man, I'm wired, bro. Yo, me too, me too. I mean, I know it's good to like to go to bed early and all that, but I'm bouncing off the walls right now. Yo, I'm bugging too. It's like, this is all too crazy, man. Like, this is my life, you know what I mean? I do. I mean, the NBA is right there. It's amazing, but it's tomorrow. Yeah. Yo. What? Let's go out. Aw, oh, man. We can't go out partying. We get caught and it goes viral, man. We're gonna be done. <laughs> I'm not talking about partying, man. Where are you trying to go then? I don't know, man. Maybe that wouldn't be a good idea. Nah, it's fine. Take pics with fans, watch them street ball. It's innocent. And there's something old school about it. The media will eat this up. No risk. Junior and Henry. Oh, what's up, bro? Oh, snap. How y'all doing? man? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? What's up, man? What's up, man? Let me guess y'all here for draft night, huh? Yeah. Yeah, man. That's a big night. You feel excited? Yeah. Okay. You know what? What do you? Th I got an idea. How about we get warmed up? Let's uh, let's go twos. What you think, man? Oh, let's go some twos. Let's you know, have yeah. some fun. I mean, unless unless y'all scared of my boy. Ah, uh, man, I would be scared. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you got a joke. You got a joke. Oh, well, I'm man. down. I ain't never scared. Hey, what, uh, you, man? what you think, Junior? Come on, man. Friendly competition. Hold on one second. Let me holler at you. Oh. One second. What's up, man? All right, let's think this through, man. All these fans, all these cameras, this is go really bad for me, man. Okay, okay. Pros and cons, right? Right. Right? Yeah. Cons. He beats us, that goes viral, we look like trash, and our draft stock washes right up the Hudson River. Yeah, that's bad, man. All of that sounds really bad. Pros. We take them down, that goes viral, we become legends, our draft stock goes through the roof. But you already the top prospect, man. I'm just saying we because we're teams here. And it feels right. But, but, you are correct. I have no downside here. So listen, Junior, things can go bad real quick. I mean, that is Zion. Yeah. So that's why I'll let you make the choice. If you win, I'm in. If you're not, you sit back and watch the Zion show. All right. All right, all right. So we talked about it. So you guys ready to take me on, or not? You think I'm gonna miss a chance to get at you in front of all these people? I see you, Junior. You want some of this smoke? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, do we? Do we? <laughs> Let's go. All right. I don't lose, man, at all. <laughs> hey. We ready, then. We're about to take out these top prospects, man. Brother, over with. Let's go. We get ball. Yo, 
Yo, my bad, man. I feel like I let us down. Nah, man, it's both of us. We can get it done. Yo, check this out. What's that? Video Zion running this off the court? Yeah, and it's everywhere on social. Not great, bro. Ain't hey, nothing we can do about it now. Not sure how that helps, but yeah. Hey, good game, fellas. Good game, guys. Good game, good game. Good game. Yeah. Good y'all got, got heart. Y'all got heart. You know, I'm sorry I had to show out like that. You know? hey, Can't turn off being Zion, bro. Zion Williams, yeah, I mean, what know. you want? I'm sorry. It's all good, though. All right? well, you guys did good. We appreciate the opportunity, man, for real. Yeah. Yeah. Next yeah, time. Man, no problem. Y'all lost today, but tomorrow's going to be a win for y'all. It's the biggest night of y'all life. Wish y'all the best of luck. Absolutely. Get y'all the league. Y'all stay appreciate up. Stay up. Down, man. Let us know if you want to get beaten again, OK? Excuse me. Hey, what's up, Arch? That's how you feel? Ah, uh, yeah, man, I'm good, I'm good. Look a little tense. Yep. Definitely tense. <laughs> Take a look around. So is everyone else. In good company. Mm. Supposed to help me, man? Yeah. Helpful stuff would be to say, uh, imagine everyone in their underwear or in a clown's nose, like in one of those public speaking classes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so is that helpful? I never found it to be. This is crazy, man. Dad's supposed to be here, not me. You might as well know this now. Your dad was a good player and a great teammate. Influenced a lot of people. But he wasn't half the player you are. And if he were here, he'd feel the same way. I think he would have said he was proud of me. I mean, I mean we both know those words would never left his lips, right? <laughs> like, never. Uh, never. <laughs> but he would have been thinking it. Tonight marks the realization of a dream for the best young players in the world. A reward for their many... <laughs> With the first pick in the NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select... Hendricks Cobb from West Virginia. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Select Reggie Watson, Ken Booker. With the 27th pick in the NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select Junior from Michigan State University. <laughs> yeah, Arch. <laughs> Thanks, That's delicious, man. Junior. Thanks, man. Earth this boy. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, man. Congratulations. Yeah! <laughs> oh. Wow. You know how many people live on this planet? 7.8 billion. You know how many in the NBA? Not that many. 
Like, I just got to thank you, Coach. I wouldn't even be here if you hadn't talked me into it way back when. Ordinarily, I'd say you did all the work. But in this case, yeah, I'll take the credit. <laughs> I guess I walked into that one. Hey, let's cheer some coffee or whatever is around here. Let's do it. Yes. To Junior, Newark's finest. You made it. I'm really, really proud of you. Bravo. This life is a long story, son. Just make sure you remember who you are, yeah? This place. Sure, Dad. I will. <sighs> I know. Hey there, 2KMC here with my basketball, pencil, and paper, jotting down the upcoming neighborhood events. Start off this weekend with Big Top Challenge. Can you beat the mascots? I sure hope so, because if you do, you'll earn some sweet prizes. On Wednesday, get together with your squad and get to the wreck, where Double Rep will be waiting for you all day long. And for more weekend fun, head to the 2K Beach Party. On Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, all games played on the 2K Beach will be worth double rep. I'll be out there getting buckets and catching a tan. So if you see me, come say hi. Actually, don't do that. To recap, here's our big board of upcoming events in the neighborhood.
everyone for joining us here in the start of a new season i'm kevin harlan joined by chris weber and greg anthony david aldridge is our sideline reporter da take it away hey kevin the atlanta hawks are a team trying to rise with trey young shooting from the logo and setting the table and john collins banging on people's heads collins said we're definitely going to have the best pick and roll chemistry in the league for years to come see about that guys but they are very promising they're fun to watch da thanks and now the opening lineup for detroit grant is out there with Plumley, and there's jackson and it's smith and it's bay in at the three and for the hawks hunter at the three with collins at the four bogdanovich out there with trey young and it's capella in at the five spot Opening day, C-Webb, which types of teams tend to begin the season hot? Well, well, teams that return a lot of players, Kevin, you know, that have that familiarity. I mean, squads with help on their side. So Detroit will get the first possession. Pass to Bay. And here's Jackson. Smith, the pass to Jackson. Grant outside. Six to shoot. Stolen by Cohen. And they're running. Pat Donovich wide open. And he's good on the three ball. Bogdanovich has got the opening basket of the game. group on the floor. Atlanta leading by eight. Nineteen seconds left in the first quarter. The shot by Okongwu, no good. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Stewart passes to Junior. Second chance shot, and it's good on the way in. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Oh, it's simple. When you fail to put a body on someone, you're inviting a breakdown on the defensive glass. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. And the three-point shot. <laughs> And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And for the Hawks, guys, what stands out to you? Stance one. Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Showing no mercy right now. The shooters look frustrated seeing so many of their shots get stifled. They've got Okongwu. Dunn is out there with Lou Williams. Then there's Gallinari. And it's Herter in at the three, the small forward. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Here's Stewart. Some solid defense from Gallinari. The Hawks leading by six. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Hey, thanks very much, Kevin. Clint Capella is a seven-footer in track shoes. He said, I always try to have that pace. Whenever I sprint, I have an impact on the offense. I try to focus on that and keep my energy up. Guys, guards love big men who run the floor as hard as Capella. Back to you. He is indeed, David, very athletic. Thanks. 
for Detroit. They have had two chances at the line already, making them both. The first one falls. falls so he hits both of them and here is done he's gotten some minutes but nothing on the board yet passes to Okongwu now the pass to Herter his three pointers off the mark Pistons trailed by four second quarter and we're just over a minute in and Cobb gets it to go and a look at the number one overall pick in the draft Hendricks Cobb an incredible athlete who has the potential to be a game changer for this team born in New Jersey but grew up in Louisiana Cobb has been used to the spotlight for a long time he has all the tools to be a superstar in short order Takes a three. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two for six start. And with the confidence to sink shots from downtown, Cobb helps his team space the floor. Williams for three. The Hawks again can't hit. The Pistons have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Lou Williams, so crafty GA, just a knack for putting the ball in the basket. This guy just has the gift. I mean, it's been that way forever. He is just a born scorer. Here's Colinari. Atlanta again, missing. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Ellington kicks to Junior. Okongwu grabs the board. And here's Don. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. Nothing offensively yet from them in the second quarter. Buys a three. Rebound by the Pistons. And they won the season series against this club last year, but, you know, then again, so did a lot of other teams. Now, here's Khan. Tight defense on him. Williams with a clean look. And again, unable to change momentum here. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. Now, here's Khan. Done covering. Stewart passes to Ellington. Down to five on the shot clock. Taken away by Williams. Launches it. It's hauled in by Stewart. Stewart's got eight rebounds in this game. Junior the pass to Okafor. And Okafor slams it in. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah, you can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there. Atlanta calls timeout. Around the free agent race last year, for your money, Greg, who would you have rather take? Kawhi and PG, Kevin Durant and Kyrie. for the first half of action what's been a fair thank you Kevin Jalil you've scored in a variety of ways in the first half what's working for you out there oh uh, the moving around the ball talking to my teammates trying to get open uh, they're putting me in a great position for me to score thanks Jalil appreciate it back to you Kevin thanks so much David and we'll step away briefly but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Oh. So Detroit ends up going with the new group. 
Detroit's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. And Detroit, looking at who they've got. They've got Junior. He's out there with Kahn. Ray Nellington is out there with Jaleel Okafor. And it's Stewart in at the power forward position. Williams dishes to Dunn. Alinari outside. The kick out to Williams. Knocks down the three ball. Williams has got his second basket of the night. Yeah, his teammates are going to like Gallinari more and more with every one of those passes. Good job to set up for a wide open look. Now here's Okafor. Not a lot of room. The feed to Junior. Rebounded by the Hawks. Okongwu has now got six rebounds in the game. In the corner, Herter with it. Williams looking around. To the inside for the lead. And the call on the shot. It sends him to the line. Consistent at looking to score. Gallinari knows how to put pressure on defenders. Can earn that call. Atlanta making some changes. Clint Capella comes in for Okongwu. And Collins subbed in for Kevin Herter. And then for Detroit, Jeremy Grant, he's checked in for Okafor. And Diallo subbed in for Wayne Ellington. Here's Cobb. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. This is Cobb's competitive edge showing right here. He won't let the foul stop him from finishing the shot. And so he makes both from the line. Right around three minutes into the second half. Done with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. There's the dish to Capella. Four on the shot clock. Here's Collins. Connects on the nine-footer. Collins has got his third basket of the night right there. And let the big man eat. It's clear that Collins loves getting these kinds of scoring opportunities. Junior the pass to Stewart. Good work defensively by Capella. Hawks have gone 5 of 9 on field goal attempts since halftime. And last season for Capella wasn't that easy. Had his year cut short to injury. Never got the chance to suit up with his new team in the Hawks. Now, here's Kahn, done covering. And they say the mid-range J is a dying shot, but Cobb enjoys knocking it down from there. Dunn kicks to Gallinari. An easy two points on the way. Gallinari's got seven points. This uh, game has a lot of character here in the third period. Six changes of the lead here. Intensity is the theme for this one. Here's Junior. Misses off the right iron. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. This isn't like him. And he knows it. The best thing they can do is try to get him more easy looks. And the foul called on Junior. That's his first foul of the game. And the bonus will go to the free throw line. And not the guy... So the Hawks take the win. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And that about wraps it up for Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Alton. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.
Hey, good to see you. Great game. Huddle up! One game won't kill us, but we need to correct our mistakes right now so it doesn't become a habit. All right, let's put in good work today. If we can improve our shooting percentages, we stand a better chance of winning games. All right, let's get set up and start practice.
can't even watch this. Get your head in the game. Now that we're done, get out there and put up some shots.
What's good? It is your boy Bake, and we just got it popping with the 2K team at the park. Hey, you know lockdown game. We had the clamps on them, and we got that dub. Make sure y'all keep a lookout for them, because you can be next. Welcome to 2K TV. Yes, welcome, and I have a question for you. Have you entered the 2K TV Shoe Creator Challenge yet? Well, you have until May 24th to get your designs in. After that, we will be selecting four finalists from each category to go up for the community vote. And judging the submissions this year, we have a special guest. He's out of Boston. Meet Dion Point of Concepts. And just about to get underway as the starting fives have been announced. Sit tight. We'll be back in just a moment. Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. In this game, we'll see the Detroit Pistons going up against the Indiana Pacers here at their home, Bankers Life Fieldhouse. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thanks. Well, among the league's deadlier weapons now is the step-back jumper. Steph Curry said, you're always in control of the situation with that move. It is pretty effective. Portland's Damian Lillard said, it's a tough off-balance shot, so it takes a lot of work. But people around the league are putting in that work to become even more effective. Guys? Thanks, David. And a look at the starters for the Pistons. Smith is out there with Jackson. Then it's Plumley. Then there's Grant. And it's Bay in at the three. And for the Pacers, Sabonis and Turner up front. T.J. McConnell is out there with Lavert, And it's Warren in at the three side. Well, this seems to be a game that could be very tactical, Greg. Both teams relying on execution in the half court. And, Kevin, you're going to see a lot of ball movement and body movement, and you can't just stand around and watch one guy go to work. I think that puts so much pressure on the defense with how the game is played. And an emphasis on coaching, too. Yes. So Indiana wins the tip. Now, here's McC... Indiana ends up with a new group on the floor. We've got 108 left in the first quarter. And here is Lamb. And there's the pass to be Tadze. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. You two players. And Detroit has possession. Detroit's gone a meager one of six from three-point land since we got started tonight. Pass to Ellington. Junior with it. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Two points. That one goes. Doug McDermott is not just an outside shooter. He has a nice touch inside as well. Pistons trail by three. Cobb passes to Stewart. It's Junior top of the key. The Pistons working the ball around now. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. First trip to the line for him here. The first free throw is good. That one is no good. So it's the Pacers now. There's Brogdon. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Miami. Oh, 
six on the shot clock. From deep three-point range, a second chance effort, and he sinks the layup. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. And they're scoring pretty well as we can. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And let's quickly break down the game, guys, we have seen from Indiana. What do you think? Hey, why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim? Especially at the start, you want to get something positive going and establish your rhythm. We've got Brogdon. Doug McDermott is out there with Jeremy Lamb. And it's Bitadze in at the center, walking down the middle. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Pacers. Now, come after the miss three from Doug McDermott. Now, here's Cobb. Defense right on him. Have to guard Cobb closer than this. He knows he can hit the mid-range jump shot. Here's Sumner. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Brogdon. Okafor grabs the miss. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. And one thing I like about Brogdon is his size. A huge 6'10 wingspan for a guard gives him an advantage in matchups. Lets him finish over smaller defenders as well. Stewart. Pass to Cobb. Stolen by Brogdon. And Brogdon with a clear path to the rack. Rips down the breakaway slam. Active and alert on defense. And you have to be a little more careful when dribbling around Brogdon. And great with Brogdon and his size, it allows flexibility on defense as well. Yeah, I mean, it makes switching on the pick and roll easier with him at the top. There isn't a lot of flash to how Brogdon plays on the floor, but you can't deny how impactful he is in all facets. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Kevin, thank you. For the Pistons, rebuild has been a dirty word. With all their injuries last season, staying in the playoff picture was out of the cards. This summer, the highest draft pick in a decade, some good action through the first two quarters as thanks for the great interview David and we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball and we've got second half action for you thus far a pretty evenly contested game here for the Pacers. Goga Bitadze comes in for Turner. And Jeremy Lamb subbed in for Lavert. Then for the Pistons, Ellington comes in for Josh Jackson. And Junior subbed in for Smith. Will it go? And a wide open look for Lamb. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. And it's seven points for Jeremy Lamb. The defense decides to gamble off him. And he cashes in. On the floor for Detroit, we've got Wayne Ellington. Jeremy Grant is out there with Plumley. Then it's Junior. And it's Bay in at the three spot. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Brockton, he's checked in for Indiana. On the free throw, no good. You and I have talked about how the NBA Finals used to be tape delayed. What's the value of fans getting to see the broadcast live now as opposed to tape delayed as it was back in the, in the 70s? Isn't that a, a weird to even think that that's it the is. case? I know but, it. You know, <laughs> I, I think, Kev, that the fans, they just feel more connected to their favorite teams and players. Uh, it creates more anxiety, right? Because nowadays there's nothing that can happen that you don't know about it, whether you see it or not. Uh, so live sports, especially the NBA Finals, the anticipation, that anxiety that we talked about, man, I, 
I'm still a fan to this day in a different way. Uh, so I can only imagine when you have a personal vested interest in the team, what that's got to feel like. Edge of your seat, you're right. And so it's Indiana with it. Pass to be Thompson. No good that time. The Pistons go the other way with it. Atlanta will be traveling to face them after this game. They'll start a three-game homestand with that game. Plumley against Sabonis. Plumley is just a junior. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one is off. And some changes here for the Pacers. McDermott's checked in for Sabonis. And Edmund Sumner's subbed in for Warren. Good on the second free throw. 156 left in the third. Lamb passes to Brockton. Fires from deep. And that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain possession. A minute 42 left to play in the third. Sumner kicks to Lamb. Just five on the clock. And another shot. And they are giving up the same types of looks we saw in the first half, making them earn their points now. Here's Diallo, and it's good. Two points. And the Pistons lead by eight. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Bitadze, the pass to McDermott. Stolen. by Brogdon. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Yeah, that's too real. And that one falls for Turner. Drafted 11th overall back in 2014. Miles Turner is a premier defensive player, leading the league in blocks in 2018. And so the Pistons take the win. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. Yeah, you know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. So long, everyone.